Welcome back friends. <coughs> In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the alcoholic beverages. Okay. Now, uh, we'll be talking the overview about the alcoholic beverages especially. In the previous video, we have just talked about how the fermentation occurs and the basic principle of fermentation. Now, In this video, we'll be talking about uh, the alcoholic beverages. So, let me talk about the details. Okay. Now, alcoholic beverages are divided into three general groups actually. Now, first of all, what are alcoholic beverages? Alcoholic beverages means those compounds, those beverages or those drinks which contain alcohol in it. Right? That's very basic. It's control alcohol will be called alcoholic beverages. Okay. Now, it can be of three different type. One is beer, which is the most common or most used one. Then wine and the final one are called liquors. Or spirit actually spirits spirit now liquor mean in 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 liquor genera we can put all of them together and they are also all of them are alcohol containing things so we can call them spirit but actually spirit means those type of alcoholic beverages which are distilled okay but beer and wine are undistilled okay so let us move on Okay, so here what we can see, uh, the distinction between beer, wine, and liquor are uh, there, but still most of the most of the most of them actually beer, wine, liquor, what whatever we are talking about, they are the fermented product of yeast, especially the version called Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is very very important yeast strain, as you can see in this picture. Now, yeast are unicellular fungi that produce asexually by budding or fusion. Fission. There are two types of yeast. One is the, called the budding yeast. Another one is fission yeast. Uh, namely, uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is a budding yeast. Here, as you can see in this picture. And another one is the Saccharomyces pombi, which are called the fission yeast. Simply, they divide by fission. Right? They are used for, to convert the sugar, sugar into alcoholic beverages. And what we can do is that, what, what they can do actually, they take this glucose, which is the simplest form of sugar, and they act on it. And they convert it into alcohol by providing some important enzymes. Because remember, this is a chemical reaction. And like other any, any other chemical reactions, it must require some enzyme to complete it. And the yeast will provide the enzyme to convert the glucose into alcohol or ethanol. And it also generates carbon dioxide, which is released outside. Okay. Now, the process of culturing yeast under alcohol producing conditions is referred as brewing, right? And this term is pretty old because this brewing is continuing uh, from very older times actually, right? So, brewing is the uh, same for beer, wine and all these things. Especially it is used for beer processing. And if we look at type of alcoholic beverages, it can be product produced by fermentation. And second one is the produced by fermentation and distillation. Remember, I have already talked that there are several different types. Now, this type or the first type called produced by simple fermentation is a single step process where only fermentation is required to convert sugar into uh, alcohol. But in second case, we take sugar and we convert it into alcohol. We convert it into alcohol. But the alcohol is then distilled to finally get the pure form or high percentage form of alcohol. Okay. Okay. Now the example for this, like the products produced by only fermentation, is beer and also wine. But produced by fermentation and distillation both together, and the example is whiskey vodka and all these things which are simply called as spirits which are having higher alcohol percentage now the alcoholic beverages that have a lower alcohol content which is example like beer and wine usually produced by only fermentation but those alcoholic beverages contain higher concentration of uh, alcohol uh, like whiskey vodka rum they are uh, they are having uh, fermentation first then followed by distillation that's why we get pure form of alcohol there right Usually in this case, beer. In beer, we get very little alcohol. In wine, uh, the flavor is very important. But in this case of uh, spirit-like, uh, uh, spirit-like alcoholic beverages like vodka and uh, whiskey, in, on, in those cases, uh, the 
alcohol content is very important so the demand is mainly for alcohol content but not for flavors so uh, this type of all of these alcoholic beverages they can be produced by several different sources it can be grains it can be fruit juices it can be uh, molasses and all these different things right so we'll be talking some of them roughly i don't encourage you to remember all this but just roughly it can be source can be barley the, and the name of the beverage is beer ale uh, barley wine and all this thing usually most common are beer and ale now it can be rye the source can be rye uh, it can be rye beer and uh, kvass it, the source can be corn which is uh, content for starch actually so we can use corn and it can produce corn beer okay we can use rice if we use rice as the source we can produce what he called tequila right let's move to juice of fruits now the most important one is the juice of grapes and what it produces it produces wine okay and the example and the brand name for that brandy vermouth and and so on pisco and so on okay it can be juice of apple pears uh, palms and all of these things but usually juice of grapes especially the black grape uh, are used to produce red wine right and white grapes are used for to produce white wines we can also use vegetables to convert them into sugar uh, sugar and then alcohol then the example is juice of ginger root we can produce ginger beer we can use potato or grain we get to use potato beers in all this case the flavor is kind of different right now if you look at the distilled beverage or distilled product from that particular source the example is vodka most of the are uh, used in vodka to uh, use using potato to produce vodka in poland and germany okay you can use sweet potato to convert them and finally distill them to produce it it is called sosu sosu okay we can use other different types of sources like sap of palm honey milk even milk we can use milk even because milk contains very little uh, carbohydrate but you can also use it. not little actually maltose is there uh, actually we can produce kefir cumies and all these things okay so actually these are not alcoholic beverages these are fermented beverages instead uh, but previously whatever we have talked about are mostly alcoholic but in this case if we use milk it can be converted into this kefir and bla uh, bland and cumies and all these things these are fermented products but not non alcoholic it's not that they always fermented products must be alcoholic uh, sometimes it can be non alcoholic too okay so because in this case milk contains lactate or lactic acid so in those case we can use bacteria to convert them so lactic acid fermentation will generate lactate or lactic acid right so usually milk contains uh, other type of sugars usually they produce lactate out of it which is not alcohol because we know uh, this whole al uh, production of uh, this fermentation this fermentation process is a kind of an aerobic anaerobic in nature so in this case there are two pathway for the anaerobic fermentation one is to produce alcohol and carbon dioxide another one is to produce lactate only okay so if it is produced alcohol and carbon dioxide you call it i use them to produce alcoholic beverages but if it produces lactate we can use them to produce other type of products like cheese usually like this kefir and all this and other many variety of products okay in both this case they are of anaerobic process so this is a basic overview of fermentation and alcoholic beverages production and the type of them and i hope that's helpful thank you